Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yes, continuing on reviewing Christmassy films and on the weekends. Um, and this time, I've got a new guest with me. Um, and just like say how I've previously had, well, not just a little blue, but I've had, um, I've, when I've had my other friends Trent and Elijah, this time I've got a, a new fresh guest, um, and a new friend of mine, and uh, he's joining me reviewing um, what, as yes, as you read the title for what we're reviewing, I've got with me here the Amazing Gamer um, 111. It's great to have you. It's great to be here. I, I say just been a favorite of mine since childhood, and I'm really excited to do this review. Oh, yeah, same here, same here. So, yeah, Ice Age, been part of my childhood too, as you said, and yeah, so we are in fact reviewing A Mammoth Christmas, um, and which, you know, which, which, which this year does mark its, uh, its, uh, 10th anniversary, and this was just a year before the next Ice Age film would come out, and, you know, because I would assume, like, this one, A Mammoth Christmas was to kind of get people hyped, I guess, for the next Ice Age film, but, you know, um, we'll start with you, like, what, what your, what are your, what are your first things, like, to say on A Mammoth Christmas? Um, well, when I first got Mammoth Christmas, it was around, because I was first introduced to the whole Ice Age franchise through Mammoth Christmas and ah. Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, both being my favorites of the franchise, and I watched those when I was about... 12 or maybe 10 years old i can't remember it's so long ago right and these are just these are two most cherished films from the isa franchise to me Mm-hmm. okay um well, and as for me like um when i was about like because this was released in 2011 and i was only about i was 10 when this came out and you know what i don't think it was that bad um at the time of how of when i was 10 but i don't know since i'm a bit older now and like um I'm not sure, because, you know, whether if this and the Easter special would even be considered canon to the movies. I mean, oh my gosh, if you, when you look at, say, the Easter special, like, you're just like, what the heck is going on in this? And why are they in the, in, like, in the East? Because in the Easter one, they're basically in the same location as they were, like, say, in Dawn of the Dinosaurs. But I'm sorry, like, how can they still be there when, like... When El, when Peaches is a teenager, and the fact that uh, Squint, the one, you know, one of Captain Gut's crew members, I mean, I just think that you know the Easter special was really messed up. But the the mammoth, the Christmas one, the mammoth Christmas, no, they did it right. Like the setting of it, and when it took place, and how old Peaches was, yeah, they got that right. Yeah. And and especially uh, since outside of the movies, this is the only time we see her as like, as, as I say, a toddler. Because in all the other movies after number three, we see her as a teenager or becoming an adult. So this is an interesting one. Yeah. So at least, you know, since uh, since Dawn of the Dinosaurs, when we saw her, you know, be born and, you know, it was nice for, for at least one, once where, uh, which was in A Mammoth Christmas, where we did see her as a toddler, as a kid. But as the films proceeded, we saw her, you know grown up and as a teenager and in the fifth film like she was gonna be gonna get married so there you go um but also uh trying to trying to remember like um oh yeah because this was the first time since the first ice age film when, where we got you know like a human character in this and most notably yeah, most I notably about that as well. yeah because we got santa of course and that's our thing too because um I think, you know, uh, throughout, throughout the rest of the Ice Age films, we just got the animals, and not once since the, since the first Ice Age film we got humans, and, you know, everybody, here's, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and mention this, and I know I'll probably mention this again, like, when it, when it comes to the, the, the review of the, the, the next couple of Ice Age films, like, everybody is like, you know, what would, would want to see an Ice Age film where the baby, uh, do you remember, do you remember, do you remember the baby's name? Well, he does. Well, he does have a name, but I even, I even, I can't remember. Like people want to see, like, the, the, there to be an Ice Age film where you know the baby who's now grown up, like, return and you know, th like, that would be interesting. I, I think. Yeah, especially since like you know Disney could probably now that they have the the rights and everything to Ice Age and are making the Adventures of Buckwild now and all that, they could do something like that. Correct. Yeah, correct. I agree. Um, and also, um, because back on the subject of A Man With Christmas, like, uh, you know, because 
this thing that uh, Manny has, like uh, this the Christmas rock, and then and Sid accidentally destroys it, and Manny at first thing makes this up, uh, like the naughty list that Sa that Sid's on, and Sid, Crash, Nettie, and Peaches they go off to find Santa, and um, and yeah, because you know it is kind of cool because because of Christmas happening during the Ice Age and like Santa being there and like how he was making toys during that time and. Uh, I don't know, I want to say, like, the Slavs, the Sloths were, like, his pre-elves, pre I, I want to assume. Yeah, they were, like, the pre-elves. And it did seem weird, because since they're, like, I always want to say they've always worked for Santa, but it turns out they never had. They were just guarding the place, not really helping in the workshop. So I was like, that was a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of weird. Um, <clears throat> and also, uh... Of course, like with every Ice Age, um, and maybe hopefully with the Buck Wild Adventures, you know, uh, with uh, the sequences with Scrat and just trying to get the acorn, don't you like? I, don't you think those were funny? Like in the Mammoth Christmas with the with, yeah, with Scrat scenes. Yeah, especially in the opening scene where it's he's stealing acorn sinks to classic Christmas music as well. Yeah, he's like still like uh, yeah yeah that I remember that and um, also. Not to mention, like, uh, there was, there was, in, at times in the Ice Age films, well, not really, like, there would be a bit of singing, but in this one, like, the the Ice Age characters are just, are singing, and as they're helping Santa, you know, um, I remember that, and I, it was pretty funny, because um, one of the Slavs, like, a ball of yarn or something, and like, who's gonna want that? And Diego just goes after it. That, yeah, could just tackles the thing in the background. I know, yeah, that's pretty funny, and especially speaking of Diego, like in the in the beginning of in the beginning of this, where like Diego, where, where Manny asks Diego, like, do like do sabers have Christmas? And Diego saying that his dad would bring home antelopes, and right before he gets into the part where he would saying, you know, we would rip into them, like it freaks out Peaches at first, but he tells them, you know, uh, we rip we rip we rip in our gifts and play games with the with the antelope and not kill them. Yeah. The end. So, I remember that, and, um, <clears throat> let them, uh, you know, but overall, because I, I, A Mammoth Christmas is okay, and just anything else to say on this? Um, yeah, I did like uh, okay. the inclusion of, um, Prance's whole role, um, yeah. before, like, well, he had a bunch of, like, a huge clan of magical uh, reindeer, and this is kind of, I guess you could say, the origin story, in a way, before they decided to help Santa, they were just these magical deer around the Ice Age forests and all that. Which yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, I don't know, like, this and, and, you know, we'll go ahead and, like, say, mention of the Easter special. Would we ever, would these even be, con would these even be considered canon to the Ice Age franchise? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they are, which is pretty sad, because I did really like T.J. Miller's like, enthusiasm as he played, because he was the voice of Prancer, and it's weird that, like, these massive events, like, meeting Santa and these magical reindeer and all that, are never, like, heard of or mentioned ever again. Right. And uh, the voice of Peaches was okay, too, you know, for Peaches as a, as a kid, that was fine, and um, I believe it's... Oh gosh, I believe it's Sierra Bravo. I want to say I don't know, but um, uh, yeah, and of course the ending to it, like you know, one last scene with Scrat, and like he likes holding, he's holding onto the sleigh, and the reindeer keeps kicking him. I remember that. And, yeah, repeatedly kicking him in the face. Yeah, so that. But uh, overall, like you know what, I think a mammoth Christmas is okay, and even though sadly, uh, like if it, you know, with it being not canon and such you know it's a bit of a shame and uh you know what because okay this was the only time at least for right now where we see peaches as a kid and maybe maybe for buck wild's adventures because that movie is gonna be if the setting of it is after the events of dawn of the dinosaurs so maybe possibly we could once again get get peaches when she's a kid and a toddler because that would be nice and it would make total sense yeah, definitely. Because like we we do see the Crash and Eddie join Buck on his adventures, so we'd have to see something of Manny and the others, and we do see that in the trailer anyway. So seeing Peaches as a kid again would be a treat. Oh yeah, oh I'll have to go back and check because I didn't I didn't I didn't see her in the trailer, but 
Okay, overall, because, um, so with Matt, like, how do we, how do we rate, with, how do we rate A Man with Christmas, starting with you? Um, I personally would rate it about a, let's see, a, a six out of ten, a three out of four stars, um, great for the most part, it's nice for the, the family to put on for a little bit, just a 20 minute show for the holidays, um, yep. it's a little rough around the edges here and there, because there was... True. A few like dragged moments where uh, Manny and that are off to go and look for the for the others for Crash and Eddie and Peaches and Sid. Where I feel like those could have been cut out. And yeah, we wouldn't have missed much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing with you, like, as you first said, like, I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. It's okay. Um, I, it's, I think it's enjoyable. It is enjoyable to watch, and, um, you know, it's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, good thing, too. Uh, and, you know, you guys let us know what you thought of our review, and if you've seen this before, let us know. And, um, yeah, so, and thank you very much for joining me for the first time, and until, you know, and until we do more review collabs. Oh, definitely, yeah. It was, it was fun doing this, really. Yes, and actually, we did kind of talk about this a while back, you know, because of ice, the subject of Ice Age. Um, me, and, uh, me and the Amazing Gamer, like, we will be back doing more review collabs, and of course, reviewing, say, the next, uh, th the next uh, three Ice Age films, because I already reviewed the first three, and why not? Because the next three, it should be me and him, and I think that, that I think that'll be great, don't you think? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yes, so have that to look forward to uh, for when uh, the next three Ice Age films are reviewed. Of course, the fourth and the fifth, and the Buck Wild Adventures. Um, that'll be great, and if there, and we'll see what else there is for us to review uh, in future review collabs. But anyway, so that's how we that. Uh, so our ratings, you know, six out of ten, and um, what was the other rating you gave it? Uh, three out of five stars. Three out of five stars. Okay, so that too. Um, we hope you enjoyed our review of A Mammoth Christmas. Uh, any last words? Um, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe... Uh, <clears throat> God. <laughs> oh, I got something stuck in my throat there. Remember That's to fine. subscribe to Little Blue for more content like this. He makes amazing reviews. And, yeah, thanks for having me on today. No problem. And until until the, until next time. So, thank you. And as for me, uh, thank you again, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Take care and peace out.